No. And he does it every time. What is up, beautiful people? Welcome to episode 64. It is the Ignite Your Purpose show podcast vlog. The Canadian, the UK man, the Isle of Man talking together, making magic happen. And today we are going to talk about something beautiful called recovery. This whole week we've talked about exercise, stress, um, sleep, movement, sleep. food, all of the above, sleep. But I want to talk about just being, just doing nothing. Now, so many of us on our paths, and this has happened to me, so I hold my own feet to the fire, we just want to do everything, right? We start getting in this mode of we know how to feel better. So we're, we're walking, we're running, we're lifting weights, we're training, crab, we're doing martial arts, we're doing Olympic lifting, let's go run a mountain. And guess what? If we do not recover, we do not have the proper sleep, we crash. This happened to me last year this time. I went down for about two weeks where I had to do absolutely nothing. I was on a crazy little hiatus because my doctor told me, dude, your body is so stressed. Yeah, you're getting plenty of sleep. Yeah, you're eating plenty of food. That's great. But you're on the go 24-7. You're, you're actually not giving your body even enough time to take away from the stress, to heal from that sleep. Um, so, and I see this even when we go on vacations, John, you know, <laughs> we always, we always want to, you know, get it in. Okay. We got to see this, 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 and this. So we got to wake up at 6am and we don't get home till midnight. We're never really relaxing. And I think the big part of recovery is to relax. So I want to say how important it is for everything we've talked about. But don't make the same mistakes John probably has, and I definitely have. Um, relax. Just be. This weekend, uh, John knows some of my history. I've, I've had some crazy, crazy deadlines to do. And this weekend, I did nothing. I did nothing. I just sat, and my creativity was down. Everything was low, because I know now, in tune with my body, that if I don't listen to it and do nothing, I will crash. John, I rambled a little bit. But I want to talk about the importance of just relaxing. Can you give me one second? Oh my god. My god, what is that, John? So people hustling, I love it. Oh yeah, um are you coming around the house now, are you? It's uh, live, people. We right, don't, we don't uh, realize like the, the this, this is how it is. Okay, give me two minutes. But it is super important to, okay, thanks to just... do nothing. We are human ah. beings. One minute, you keep talking. Oh my gosh, he's just leaving it up to me, people. I guess it's the, the solo Massimo show today. But I'm telling you, I crashed so hard last year um, because I didn't want to miss out on anything. You know, when you start feeling this good in life, you just go balls to the wall and even though I was on point with everything, I did not, and this is after 10 years, John, I did not understand what it was to just relax and be. So that's where I'm going to leave that. I'm going to have to watch back because I missed a big chunk of what you were saying then. But no, I just kind of things. recapped. Just kind of recapped. Okay. There's, with the missus and I, the wife and I, our next holiday, we have planned to go somewhere. We know nobody. We're going to rent an apartment, which is near a beach, maybe a pool, and just sit and relax. That is our next holiday because we found out we come and visit you and there's always a million things to do. And then we need, we need to go and see the mountains. And we need to go for a walk. And then we need to go for the tour to Calgary and and you Need. get back and you're so tired doing things. So that's basically, that's our next, our next trip is we're going to go to the beach in the sunshine and do nothing. But when, when Max was saying about um, running and crossfit and training and blah, 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 I think it goes beyond that. I think it's um, certainly in households, it's the kids, the clubs, doors around the house. The phone, and it all kind of links into what we were talking about, stress and the nutrition and, oh, my God, I'm not eating the right things because that can become too complex as well. Exactly. So, um, yeah, it's about just slowing down. Boom. Now, one little thing I, I want to say, <laughs> sitting around and doing nothing is mega important. It is. <laughs> it doesn't sound like it, but it so is. Sit down, open a book, or sit down, just watch some shit on TV. But also, 
it's the fact that we do underrate sleep. And I knew we were going to bounce into these things because what we get when we sleep, it cannot be replaced by a pill, a potion, a supplement, or anything else out there. Sort of being able to get chilled out, go to bed in a low level state, not running around like a lunatic, then allows you to recover to give you that energy and uh, vibrancy each and every day. Um, balance, balance is a tricky word. It's getting that consciousness to know when you're tired, to know when you need a rest, to know when you need a break, and and being honest with yourself and then placing yourself in front of other people or in front of other jobs. And okay, we've all got jobs and we've all got deadlines, but it's creating that space for you to recharge and to be better. Therefore, you can give other people your best. And maybe when you're rested, you become more conscious about when you get wound up and tired and irritable and start shouting at the kids or shouting at the boss because you're tired, not because they've done anything. It's just because you're tired. So um, apologies, I missed half of Max. There's a guy coming in to, to do a job that I'd completely forgotten about. Right. But um, um, I'll let Max finish up. And, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll agree with you on that. And, and it takes some self-awareness to really, to really understand when you're, you know, you know, without getting too scientifical, but, you know, when your adrenals are starting to fatigue, you know, that comes from all those stressors. That comes from not relaxing. That comes from the, the mind. You know, John talked about, you know, the family dynamics, but what about this thing, man? Like, you know, m my teachers, my, the people I've been in class with, I mean, they're healers. A lot of these guys and, and females, they take, they're taking, like I just sat down with them the other day, they're taking two months. Can they afford it? No, they can't, but they know they have to do this because they will crash. They will be of no use to themselves or you. And what's the point of killing yourself for a job that will replace you within a week once you're gone. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So there's always some gems in here, John. Hey, if you just let us talk, we can get to them. Um, mm -hmm. It does take some self-awareness, but just just be mindful of that. Um, it, the mind, you know, and John hit it on the head. Going away on vacation should be you come back relaxed. You know, I know so many people that go to Sin City, Las Vegas, and they come back, you know, bags under the eyes because for four days they didn't sleep. And they consider that their vacation because yeah. they're not at work. That does nothing um, from your body. That that takes away from your life. When we miss yeah. sleep, we take away from our life. John, looks like you got to go. Yeah, I have. I'm just gonna just gonna finish off. Give me two minutes. But, um, what, what you just said something, and and I had something to say. Um, I can't remember, but um, I'll, I'll put it in the comment when I've remembered in a minute. So uh, You're perfect. Apologies for the slightly interrupted podcast today, but um, hey, that's going live. That's unscripted. This is real life. This is we don't, we don't mess around. Once again, thank you for uh, for your time, and uh, we'll see you on the next show. Okay, thanks, Bye. John.